okay the first property is okay what is this what this should be this is equal to box x this is because if you take box of x you get an integer and after that again you if you take a box function then it doesn't affect because box of an integer is itself the same integer so this is an integer if you take a box of that you'll get that integer again which is box x now next important property which i'll club in this property only is this this is zero now this is also very obvious because if i take the fractional part the fractional part lies in between 0 and 1 and if it lies between 0 and 1 if i take the box of that i'll get 0 only because you see this is between 0 and 1 okay if i take a box i need to find the greatest integer which is less than the fractional part which is less and so it is 0 in this case so this is this also i can write this as also equal to 0 because box x is an integer the fractional part of an integer is 0 so this is like this okay. now the next important property is this mm, and n belongs to a integer okay, okay. so to prove this, let's take an example. Let's take n equals to 1, x equals to 2.5. You'll get n plus x is 3.5. So this box becomes 3. And here also I have 1 plus 2, that is 3. This is to verify that this property is correct. Now, I would like you to prove this. Prove that this is true. Okay. So to prove this, what we can do is we know that x is equal to box x plus fractional part of x now let's say that box x i denote by ix and the fractional part i'll denote as fx remember from now on i may be using this notation i may be representing box x as ix and fractional part of x as fx okay so when i write ix i mean box of x when i write fx I mean fractional part of x. Okay. Now, so what does x plus n become? x plus n becomes ix plus fx plus n. Or I can write it as n plus ix plus fx. Now, if I take box of x plus 1, x plus n, I'll get box of n plus ix plus fx. Okay. Now, what is this? This is itself an integer. Let's say this integer is k. I'll get k plus fx. Okay, n plus ix I have represented as, as k. So, this, what is this? If I take a box of an integer plus a fractional part, I'll get only the integral part. When I take a box, this is k plus fx. Right? And you know that fractional parts box is 0. We are seeing this here. So this becomes only k. And what is k? It is again i plus n. And what is ix? ix is what? Box of x. So I get which is this. So this property has been proved. Now, now we move on to the next important property which says that box of x plus box of minus x is 0 if x belongs to integer is minus 1 if x doesn't belong to an integer again this you can always verify let's say i take let's say again we take 2.5 and this becomes 
box of x becomes then 2 and box of minus 2.5 is minus 3. So it becomes minus 1 when x is not an integer because 2.5 is not an integer. Now let's say I take an integer like x as 2 then this is 2 minus 2 box is again minus 2 so this becomes 0. So this property as such is verified. Now let's prove this property. So we have been given two cases when x is an integer and when x is not an integer. So let's take the first case when if x belongs to integer. In that case box of x is i itself and box of minus x is again minus i. Okay. So box of x plus box of minus x becomes 0. Okay. Now let's take the second case. If x is not an integer. In that case, what happens? In that case, x lies between some integer to that next integer. So, minus x will lie between minus i minus 1. Take negation of that and you change this. This, right? So, box of x becomes what? It becomes i and box of minus x becomes minus i minus 1. Now, if you add this 2, you get this i gets cancelled with minus i and you get minus 1. Okay, so this is how the second third property we have verified. Now, let's this was the property relating to box function. Now, the fourth property which we'll be discussing is related to the fractional part. The fractional part of x and the fractional part of negative of x is equal to 0 x belongs to an integer is equal to 1 if x doesn't belong to. Now, this property is a direct consequence of the last property which we had already discussed. Okay. Let's say, let's see how this is. Let's say x is equal to Right, then minus of x to okay. Now, if you add this to, you'll get a zero in this side, and you'll get box of x plus box of minus x plus fractional part of x plus fractional part of minus x. Now, now you know that this part is zero when x is an integer. So, this part is also has also has to be 0 when this is 0 or when this is x is an integer. So, I can write fractional part of x equal to 0 if x belongs to integer. Now, if this is not an integer, if x is not an integer, it then I know that this is equal to minus 1 or this is equal to 1. Minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0. So, x is equal to one if okay okay